Lars. Como estás? Muy bien. Gracias. La 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 I'm fair, fair. I'm who? La 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 la. Good morning, kindergartners. Good morning, Mr. Berlin. Are you ready for a great day? Yes, I'm ready for a great day. Hey, big announcement today is we got our class meeting on Zoom. Show and tell. We're going to sing Something in My Shoe. That's the song that uh, Fletcher was asking about. I think that'll be a good one for a Zoom meeting. Uh, so 10 o'clock today. Be ready or be Freddy. Okay. Other big announcement is I finished April reading 15 minutes. What's my new book that I'm reading? It's a book by uh, Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers. But this is going to put me right up to 30. Fill the whole chart. Where are you guys on for April? April is done, man. Got to go get my May one. Your May one is in your bag. Get that one out. Set a goal for how much you're going to be reading this, this month, okay? All right. Oh, I wanted to show you. I brought here with me. This is the book called Ghost Rider. I was thinking some of you might think that I'm reading some kind of a scary show or something. No, it's just about a man who rides his motorcycle uh, all around uh, the place. He really likes Moab, Utah. Uh, so it's, he's just a ghost because he's sad. So... There you go. Not a real ghost. Nothing to be afraid of. All right, let's do our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. That's important. Our class shows respect. Everywhere we go, seven habits help us lead. Kindness is our goal. All right, jump on over here. Oh, hey, it's a new month. May, welcome, May. You guys know the expression, April showers bring May flowers. Well, the whole month of April, we've had raindrops on our calendar, haven't we? That means... That what are we going to be having now? Flowers. We're going to have flowers. So, hmm, let me go get a yellow. You going to come over this way? No, nah, they never come over here. All right. I've got, since we got a yellow flower, I've got a uh, yellow Unifix cube to put on. Um, for our calendar, what number am I writing on here? Well, there's only one block right now, so we're going for a one. Whose cubby number is one? You know who it is, Evelyn. It's your day today. Congratulations. Here we go. A straight line down is lots of fun. That's the way to make a one. There we go. Have a great day, Evelyn. It's your day. This is the first day of May. That's awesome. We made it to May, 
and flowers. This is like a tulip. Do you see tulips growing around anywhere? I see lots of tulips. Mrs. Burnett loves tulips. We're going over to the uh, Ashton Gardens on Tuesday next week to be able to walk around, see the flowers um, Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Um, no, 4 o'clock. <laughs> anyway, looking forward to that. Hopefully the weather will be good. Um, so, a yellow tulip. What's our pattern going to be, Mr. Burnett? Oh, yeah, well, that is not going to show up for a while. It's not going to be evident what the pattern is right now. Of course not. We only have one thing. So, uh, a yellow tulip here. Pop it right up on our calendar right there. Let's find out what today is. I point at the one and I go up and I see it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Got to get down on Friday. Everybody's ready for the weekend, the weekend. All right. So what song are we going to sing today? We're going to sing the Come On song. Here we go, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you want to know the days of the week, then come on and sing with me. Oh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Friday. Come over here. Today is Friday. No, Friday, May 1st. First, 2020. It's May 1st. Awesome blossom. Hey, blossoms. That's what we got in our pattern. Okay, I don't know why I sat down. Let me go over here and grab a straw. Here's a straw. Okay, let's drop this straw into the one's pocket. Do you know how many straws are in the one's pocket? I do. It's not, I'm not going to keep it a secret. It's three. There are three straws in the one's pocket. Let's count them. One, two, three. Let's count them by twos. Two. Oh, poor three. It's an odd number. This guy means it's an odd number. Let's count them by threes. <laughs> three. Okay, three ones, but look. Wah, wah. Wow, he's fired. It's a two. Oh, and I see a three sitting right up on top. That makes me happy. Here's a three. Let's put that in the ones place. Okay, how many groups 10 are there? Five. Cinco. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count them in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, let's count them in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's count them in tens in Spanish. Diez. I don't know how to say the rest of the tens in Spanish. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, but there are five groups of 10. How many groups of 100 are there? One, that never changes. One group of 100, five groups of 10, three ones. That makes the number 150. Three. Today is the 153rd day of kindergarten. Yay! 153 days. All of those numbers are odd. The one, the five, and the three, all of them odd numbers. What color am I getting for threes? I always got to look up here. I don't have it memorized. Do you? Do you know what number I'm getting? Let's pop you up so you can see higher. I'm getting one of these white guys. I had to make some more white ones because we did not have enough to make it to the end of the year. 153 goes on white. The threes are always white. Uh, I better make sure I don't write on the white board, but I actually write on the paper. A uh, straight line down is lots of fun. That's the way to make a one. Down the street and around the bend. Whoops, I forgot my hat again. Around and around like a bumblebee. That's the way to make a three. Buzz, buzz, buzz 153. It's 153rd day of school. Whose cubby number is that? <laughs> we do not have 153 kindergartners in our class. 
Ooh, thank goodness, that would be a whole hoop of kids. Let's turn this so you're not getting in the way. Oh, in fact, I just thought of something. Why don't you come with me? I know that it's not gonna love that. Let's put you right here. Ooh, that's a perfect place. Yeah. Look up here, 153. Bam! Can you believe how far we've gone? Where is that going to end? Am I going to have to open that up more? We're going to 170, I think. 168. 168. We got uh, 15 more days. Yeah, 15. So 63, 60, 168 is where we're going to end. Or no, we're going to do another uh, five after that. We're 173 we're going to go to. So yeah, I think we're gonna need to open that up some more, guys. All right, well, we got a couple more things to take care of, you know first. I looked up in the sky today and wondered what's the weather. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Stroke my beard. Hmm, 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 I wonder what's the weather. A lot of people stroke their beards when they're thinking. Men anyway. Like that, you ever see anybody do that? And they're thinking they kind of stroke their beard. Okay, it's cloudy. When I was driving to school, it was cloudy today. I looked up in the sky today and cloudy was the weather. C-L-O-U-D, Y, C-L-O-U-D, Y, C-L-O-U-D, Y, and cloudy was the weather. I'm gonna go over and color cloudy here in just a second, but you know what, guys? I saw on the news last night, the weatherman was talking about the month of April. Guess what he said? This April that we just had was the driest April April uh, Utah has ever had, the driest April. We had less precipitation, less rain than any other April in the history of Utah. Isn't that amazing? And we lived through it, and we never colored rainy or anything. So we knew it was not a rainy month, huh? even though it's supposed to be April showers bring May flowers. Luckily, we have April, uh, uh, what are those things, sprinklers. April sprinklers bring May flowers, right? My sprinklers were on. They brought some flowers in our yard. Okay, let's color in our first day today. It's buried under all these flowers, the crayon. A cloudy day. I hope we have some rain this month so we don't just rely on our sprinklers all the time. Okay, well, oh, let's go over to Mr. Brett's computer. Hey, back again. For some reason, uh, no, it was because my storage on my phone is full, full. I forgot to delete all the other videos I've been putting on my computer. Looked over here already, and I saw that the comp it's uh, 55 degrees, 55 degrees outside, Woohoo! Hey, it's a new month which means May is going to be purple. Now let's keep it down there. We'll come down here. I'll sit. May is going to be purple. I'll show you in a minute, but there's no lines. I got to go to the one and I'm going to color in 55 degrees. That is definitely the first, the highest first day of the month that we've had. April was the only other one we had. Take a look at that right here. Look how high that is now. The month of April went up, 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 didn't it? Yeah. Now look, for some reason when I made this chart, I forgot about May, but May is going to be purple. So there it is there. And uh, so that's plenty warm. Not, it's not in the 60s. It's not our record. Okay. Well, you think we're done? Nope. We're not because you know what I wonder? I wonder who's going to take nothing. Meg home, not Meg home, not Meg home. I wonder who's gonna take not Meg home for the week. And we got four people left who are gonna take not Meg home. And then, do you remember I told you I'm gonna make a copy of all of your stories and put them into a file and I'll send that out to you guys so that you can see, read all of the stories, even if you were the first person to take Nutmeg home. Who was that? I can't remember. Anyway, 
um, even if you were the first person, you're going to be able to read everybody else's stories. That's a good deal, huh? Okay, so we have four people. Hey, be a good sport. If it's not you today, don't start sobbing. Um, you'll get a chance, I promise you. And I'm going to be delivering nutmeg to this person right here. Aaliyah! Aaliyah, it's finally your day! Yay, Aaliyah! Phew, been waiting a long time, Aaliyah. Okay, see you soon, Aaliyah. And the rest of you, I'll get some uh, reading and some math up here real quick. And don't forget, 10 o'clock, I'm going to be seeing you, okay? Bye.